Hi everyone, it's Andrea from Movers and Bakers. Today I'm going to share with you how I make my triple chocolate chip cookies. These are beautiful, chunky New York style cookies, crispy on the edges and beautiful and chewy in the middle, absolutely jam packed with chocolate chips. You are going to love them. Let's get baking. Right, so to start with, I'm going to put my butter, this is softened butter at room temperature, pop that in my mixing bowl. It is very warm here today, so you can see my butter is really lovely and soft. To that, I'm going to add some soft light brown sugar, as well as some caster sugar. So we're just going to mix these together, we want to combine them completely. Once you've combined your butter and sugars, you're going to add your vanilla in. Make sure when you use vanilla, that is, it is good quality vanilla, because that will really affect the flavour of your cookies. And once that's completely combined, it's time for our dry ingredients. So I like sifting my dry ingredients in, so over my sieve, I'm going to tip in some plain flour, cocoa powder, corn flour, I always put corn flour in my cookies. I find that helps to make them really lovely and chewy and beautiful. Baking powder, baking soda or bicarbonate of soda, and finally, salt. And while I'm sifting these ingredients in, it's a really good time for me to remind you to hit up that like button and subscribe as well, so you always know when I release new videos. Now, if you like chocolate as much as I do, don't forget to check out my other chocolate recipes. My chocolate fudge cake is absolutely to die for. You will love it. Do check that one out. Now that's all sifted in, time to mix it together. So once your mixture is completely combined, you will have this beautiful chocolate damp sand looking kind of mixture. That's exactly what you want it to look like. So I'm not going to use my beaters anymore. I'm going to do the rest of it by hand. So we can get rid of these. Perks of the chef. Now to my cookie mixture, most of my cookie mixture, I'm going to add my chocolate chips in next. Now because this is a triple chocolate chip cookie, I'm adding three different chocolate chips in. So I've got my white chocolate, my milk, and my dark chocolate. Before I add all these in there, I'm going to pull a few of them out and keep them aside to stud my cookies before I put them in the freezer. So we're just going to grab a few of each of them just to keep them aside, just like that. So that's maybe a tablespoon or so's worth, not too much. And the rest of these are going to go in with my cookie mix. So I'm going to stir them through by hand. You can see my cookie dough is starting to clump together a bit as well, which is absolutely perfect. And once those are combined, we're going to set those aside just for a minute. I have my final ingredient, an egg. Now, what I'm going to do with my egg is I'm going to crack it into a bowl separately from my mixture and give it a little bit of a mix before I add it to my cookie mix. And this is just because when I add my egg, I don't want to mix it too much in with the cookies. I just want to mix it so that it's just about combined and it's all starting to come together. So I want it almost to be um, like really big, thick clumps of cookie dough. So that's why it's really important that this is mixed before I put it in. Once you have got your egg mixed together, it's time to pop it in with the rest of our cookie mixture. So all I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to fold it through a few times just to let that moisture get dispersed through the cookie mixture. So I'm not really wanting to handle it too much and mix it too much, I'm just doing it very, very gently. So once you have got this mostly mixed through, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to shape these into my cookie dough balls, pop them on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper and they are going to go in the freezer. These cookies need to be frozen for about half an hour and that's going to solidify the butter and help them hold their shape really well in the oven so that you get really, really nice, thick, chunky cookies rather than them spreading out and becoming much flatter. I find having thicker cookies means that I get um, more chew from my cookies, which is what I love in my cookies, so that's why I do this step. It only needs about half an hour in the oven, so it's not very long at all. 
So this mixture will make you eight decent sized cookies. You can of course make them smaller if you wish. I like really chunky cookies. So all I'm going to do is just by eyeballing it, I'm just going to grab a decent handful, about that much, and just squish it together a little bit shape it into a ball and then pop it on my baking tray. Once I have got all my mixture into eight balls here, I'm going to use those leftover chocolate chips to stud my cookies and then these are going to go in my freezer for about half an hour. If you want your cookies to be a bit more uniform than just eyeballing it, each cookie will weigh around about 100 to 110 grams. So go ahead and weigh them and then do this process as well with the chocolate chips after. Whichever way you want to do it will work fine, as long as you've got more or less similar sized cookies. Once your cookies have chilled out in the freezer, turn your oven on to 200 degrees and these will bake for between 10 to 12 minutes and I will see you on the other side with freshly baked cookies. So my cookies baked for 11 minutes and then once they were baked I left them to cool completely on the baking tray. Really important steps, they'll keep cooking with the warmth from the tray so that's why it's important to leave them another half hour or so on the tray. And here we have my first batch of cookies done and ready for me to show you. So all that remains is for me to grab a cookie and split it in half so you can see that they're lovely, they've got a lovely um, crust on the outside, they're still really lovely and chunky and when I break them open they will, you will see they will be still really lovely with your melty chocolate chips, but they'll be really lovely and chewy and fudgy in the middle. Absolutely gorgeous. And there you have it, my triple chocolate chip cookies. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you have, and happy baking. I shall see you next time.